Hey guys, so today I am back doing a hair dye tutorial on this Liesse Soft Brown Hair Dye. I wanted to do a review of this because I was actually googling before and after results from people on YouTube and I couldn't find too many videos so hopefully this is helpful for some people. As you can see my roots have been growing out. I have pretty much um, dark black hair. Um, and I do have some grays here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up or not, but as you can see, the ends are pretty light. I have bleached them before, but due to COVID, I haven't been able to go to my colorist and the roots are bothering me, even though some people said that it looks pretty ombre right now. Um, that's not really the look I'm going for. So yeah, let's see how this works. Um, I have dyed my hair previously. Uh, by myself, but I also have gone to salons. I've dyed my friend's hair, my mom's hair, my dad's hair. Um, I don't know, it's something that I enjoy doing and it's just very fun and therapeutic for me, so that's why I do it. In terms of the different hair products I've used, I've never used this brand before. Back when Paul T was a trend, I did use that a lot. I've used, you know, the box color dyes from L'Oreal, um, Garnier. I've also used dyes at Sally's Beauty. I've also used henna dye that I got in um, Hong Kong. Maybe I'll do a different video for henna hair coloring, but that one is more natural and you can't really select different shades of brown too well unless your base is really white or grayed out already. So yeah, anyway, hopefully this works out and I'm hoping to get an ashier brown color. I know that with some of these Asian hair dyes, they tend to be more brassy or um, warm toned, so we'll see. And I will probably insert another clip of what my hair looks like with outdoor lighting or a different kind of lighting because my lighting right now in this bathroom is kind of warm as well. So I feel like it makes my hair look more brassy than it actually is. So let's see what's uh, inside this box. I actually got the hair product from, I think, eBay because I was going to get it off of Yes Style in the US. It's not really easy to come by some of these colors. I can't read Chinese, but even though this is a Japanese brand, I got this from a Taiwanese seller. So I think that's why the packaging says Chinese. So it looks like it comes with this pump thing. This mixture, this conditioner repair treatment thing, ooh, and it comes with English instruction. It looks like this is the actual dye. Um, it looks really small. pointers. I would suggest opening up the windows just because you want more ventilation and you're not breathing in too many of the fumes from the hair dye. I don't know if this brand um, smells a lot like fumes, but I know some products actually smell pretty strong, like the typical chemical smell that you would expect of hair dyes. The second thing is wear something dark. I usually wear black or just old raggedy clothes that I don't mind getting damaged from the hair dye. That way, you know, you won't be heartbroken when your favorite like dressy top gets ruined or something, but that's about it. Okay, so let's begin. I'm starting with my hair that hasn't been washed for about three days now. I know that's kind of gross for some people, but when I go out to dye my hair and if I go to the same colorist, sometimes they would recommend that um, you know, I don't wash my hair the morning of going to the salon or even the night before. I think that's just because, you know, some of your natural oils from your scalp does protect your follicles. I didn't go to beauty school. I kind of wish I did, but um, yeah, so I would recommend having at least one day old of unwashed and dirty hair before you start the process. So I think what you want to do is first brush everything out. To section off my hair like so like how I usually part it just because this is where I know um, 
where my usual part is and I want the color to show through the most here. But in the back, I'm just going to divide it in half and then I'm going to try to do quadrants. As you can see, I changed clothes because I realized that my other top had too much of the decollete area exposed and so I didn't want to really get the dye on my skin. It says to replace the lid, but I just decided to use the other lid anyway, so I can skip that step. So now I am just going to brush up the top section again because this is the part I want to focus on first. And it does say to use dry hair. to find where my grays are because I started graying when I was 13. I know, really crazy, really young, um, but it's hereditary. Um, my dad's side of the family, everyone had gray hair super early on, so I'm actually not that surprised. This is actually pretty neat like the process. I thought it would be way messier. I've only used the Palti foam dye on my friend's hair in college, but I haven't dyed my hair myself like this. So we'll see. Hopefully it does the job of at least covering my grays. I think they do have different products, like a different series for gray hair or white hair, but I don't think that I needed that because I don't have that many gray strands. I hope one bottle is enough. If not, I will have this really weird blotchy hair. I think that's it for now, for the top part.
when I dye my hair at home is okay so a little tip here is I almost always wear a shower cap so that the heat from my head is going to react better with the chemicals from the hair dye and then I'm setting the timer for 40 minutes and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I finished blow drying my hair and this is what it looks like. Here are some before and after clips. Overall, I would give the Lie Soft Brown a 4 out of 5 rating. The product is easy to use but wasn't great for gray coverage. It did help blend my roots with the outgrown bleached hair. Since the color didn't come out as vibrant or ashy as I had hoped, this is where it lost a point. The product itself wasn't too damaging, which I appreciated. Thank you for watching and let me know how your experience with this hair dye went or if you have any recommendations.